Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today is actually going to be the eve of the frag swap. So today is Friday, frag swap is tomorrow, Saturday. And we're going to go ahead and get everything together for the frag swap today. So let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do today is uh, remove the lighting from the two frag tanks that I have under the tank. Uh, basically, this is the order it's gonna go in. We're gonna do lighting first, um, so I can get them removed. Then we're gonna go work on the actual frag tank itself, get those into the car, and then lastly, before we go to the show, we're gonna go ahead and do the coral, and then also do a water change, because I've obviously I do need water from the tank to put into the frag tank at the show itself. So, so with the lighting, uh, we're gonna do it a very specific way. First things first, I do need to get these guys onto a different schedule. Uh, I think I'm gonna do 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, lights on. That way it'll be on throughout the frag show. I am a little bit afraid that the light won't be on once I go to the frag show uh, because I don't have connection to Wi-Fi, which may be a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys set up for a light on schedule for right now. And then also, I do have two extra battery, not battery packs, uh, power adapters, so I don't need to take apart the Apex that's right here. Um, I'll have separate ones, so I can just slip these right back on once the frag show is over. All right, we got it removed there. The only lights we have now is just the under cabinet lighting, which if you look at that, it's actually pretty bright on its own, but obviously you can't grow coral, but it looks pretty good. Uh, the other light that we're gonna need to take is this guy, which is the par 38 right here. And that is gonna be for the little Pokemon tank. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this guy into the car and then uh, we'll get the tanks also. Now I did stop by the, oh, that's weird. To stop by the local fish store and I picked up a couple of these little uh, fluorescent rods just cause I didn't have any and I, everybody has them so you kinda want one, you know? Uh, but I went ahead and marked it off, uh, so I'm able to go ahead and cut them, and then, um, yeah, we'll have little pointers ready for the uh, show. Alright, and what we're gonna go ahead and do now is, uh, I got about two hours left before setup time, so we're gonna start, to uh, getting all the frags into this tub right here. Uh, I may using, be using a different system at one point, but for now, everything that's in there is gonna go in here. Uh, there's a couple frags in there. It's gonna go in there. We're gonna put the dog in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and refill the tank with a bunch of new fresh water that I have right there. So I have basically extra water here, uh, coral, coral. They're packaged kind of okay. This thing is uh, totally not water, doesn't hold water at all. So I'm just gonna put a towel there and hope to God it you know, stays. Uh, I have pretty much everything that I can think of. Um, even just a little container to grab water, a couple frag racks, filter floss, carbon. We'll see if you know that is everything, but if not, I will go ahead and just bring it tomorrow. But for the meantime, it should be fine. I think I have everything that'll at least get the tanks running. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and drive over there now and uh, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. 